May the Lord bless you. Yes, and so for me. I'm glad to be back again to teach about the command of Jesus Christ, baptism with the Holy Spirit. 我很高兴又回来讲受圣灵洗。This is the second message regarding the baptism with the Holy Spirit. 这是关于受圣灵洗的讲道的第二部分。In the last message, we learned that Jesus commanded the disciple. To be clothed with power from on high. 在上一篇讲道里，我们知道主耶稣吩咐他的门徒要领受上面来的能力。He wants us to live a powerful supernatural life. 主耶稣希望我们过着大能得胜的生活。In Acts chapter one verse eight, he told us to receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. 在使徒行传一章八节那里说。主耶稣希望圣灵降临在我们身上，我们必得着能力。It is very important for all of us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. 我们被圣灵充满，是我们每个基督徒非常重要的事情。And the first experience of the Christian life about being filled with the Holy Spirit is called baptism with the Holy Spirit. 在我们基督徒的生活当中，我们第一次被圣灵充满的过程。就叫做被圣灵的洗。God poured the water of the Spirit into our life until it overflows and fill us both inside and outside. 神将圣灵的活水浇灌在我们里面，以至于让它满溢出来，充满我们里面和我们的外面。So that we can have power to live a victorious life on earth here. 这样我们就可以在地上有过得胜生活的能力。He gives us Supernatural power to overcome our own sinful nature. He gives us this kind of supernatural power that can overcome our own sinful nature. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you want to be a victor, not a victim. I believe you And we can have power to overcome Satan and demons. We have overcome the power of Satan and demons. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing to other people. God wants us to be a blessing I pray that those who are listening right now shall be touched and blessed by you. 我也向你祈求，求你亲自来触摸这每一个来听聆听这篇讲道的人。May you bring salvation and revival to people who speak Mandarin all over the world. 愿你将救赎复兴带给所有讲中文的人。Thank you, Lord, for loving all of us in Jesus' name. 谢谢主耶稣，你是那么的爱我们。奉耶稣基督的名 ，I would like to encourage you to know the word of God and put the word of God into practice. 我希望能够来鼓励你们，更加明白神的话，并能行出神的话来。Some of you may have negative experiences with people who claim to have the Holy Spirit. 有些人可能是因为有一些其他的人所谓拥有圣灵而带给你一些负面的印象和经验。These people may be your church leaders or Christian friends. They may be your church leaders or Christian friends. They may be your church leaders or Christian friends. They may be your church leaders or Christian friends. But God wants us to focus on Jesus and have Jesus as our model. But God wants us to focus on Jesus and have Jesus as our model. But God wants us to focus on Jesus and have Jesus as our model. But God wants us to focus on Jesus and have Jesus as our model. People mistake to discourage you from following the word of God. 不要把我们的眼目放在人的身上，人是会让我们失望，是会让我们跌倒，是会让我们软弱。Let us keep our eye on Jesus Christ. 让我们注目在主耶稣的身上。Let us stay in the word of God. 让我们活在神的真理当中。Let us focus on what the word of God say, not what man says. Don't let other people' actions make you stumble or to discourage you. 让我们不要被别人的行为所绊倒，使我们气馁。This is the way I live my Christian life all these thirty years. 这就是我在过去三十一年基督徒生活所行的。
So many people have disappointed me in the church, but I have kept my eye on Jesus Christ. 当在教会里头，有些人使我失望的时候，我把眼转向耶稣。Ephesians chapter five verses eighteen to nineteen. 以弗所书五章十八节和十九节。The Bible say, and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. 圣经上说，不要醉酒。酒能使人放荡，乃要被圣灵充满。当用诗歌、颂词、灵歌彼此对说，口唱心和的赞美主。When Jesus was speaking to the disciples, he commanded them to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. 当主耶稣对门徒讲道的时候，吩咐他们要被圣灵的喜来充满。And here in this scripture, Paul commanded the believers in the church to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is compared to water, oil, and wine. 圣灵被时常比作水、油和酒。He is compared to the wind and the fire as well. 他也有时候会被比作风和火。He is the wind because he will cause us to move and to give us direction. 比作风。是因为它可以运行并指引我们的方向。No one can see the wind, but we can feel the result of the wind. 没有人可以看见风，但是我们可以感觉到风在吹。We cannot see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. 同样，我们看不到圣灵，但是我们可以看到圣灵在我们身上的工作。The Holy Spirit is like the fire of God. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things out of our life. He comes to burn all the bad things Baptism with fire. 我希望你也能够听到我另外一个系列的讲道。那个讲道是被圣灵的火。I believe that this teaching will really bless you. 我相信那篇讲道会给你带来更多的祝福。And the Holy Spirit is compared to wine. 圣灵也被比作酒。When you drink alcohol or wine, the alcohol will influence your brain, your cells, and your bloodstream. 当你喝酒的时候，那个酒会影响你的大脑、血管和其他的细胞。Alcohol will flow into the bloodstream and go to all over your organ of the body. 那个酒会随着血液流到你身体的各个部分和器官。And it will control your speech, your motor function, and your thinking. 它会控制你的言语、行动和其他的思维。So God wants to tell us that. We need to allow the Holy Spirit to flow in our whole being. 神希望圣灵在我们里面浇灌、充满，以致满了我们身体的每一个部分。Paul said that don't be drunk with wine. 保罗在这里说不要醉酒。I remember I got drunk one time in my life. 我记得我只醉过一次。I was not a Christian yet. 那时我还不是基督徒。I just graduated from the high school. 我刚刚从高中毕业。And I had a party celebration with my friend because of the high school graduation. 那次是我和同学一起来庆祝我们高中毕业。And that night I was drinking too much alcohol. 那天晚上我喝了太多的酒。I was laughing and losing my body control. 我那时候大笑，已经不能自己了。I experienced that the alcohol really influenced my brain and my muscle. 我意识到那个酒精控制了我大脑和肌肉。In fact, it controlled my whole body. 实际上，控制了我的全身。Apostle Paul said that instead of being controlled by alcohol or wine, we should be controlled by the Holy Spirit. 使徒保罗在这里说，我们要被圣来充满来控制，而不要被酒来控制。In order to be controlled by the Spirit of God, we need to be filled by Him first. 我们必须被圣灵。
充满在先，然后圣灵才能控制我们。In the last message, I compare our life as a container. 在上一篇讲道里头，我把我们的生活比作一个容器。And when the Father pour the Holy Spirit upon us, it will keep increasing until it fills up and overflow. 当神不停地向里面浇灌圣灵的水以后，以至于满溢出来。As Christians, we should live a life that is filled and controlled by the Holy Spirit, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 作为一个基督徒，我们应当过着一种生活，就是被圣灵二十四小时不停地浇灌和掌管的生活。And I had multiple experiences of being filled and drunk with the wine of the Holy Spirit. 我有许多次被圣灵充满，以致醉了的经验。Five years ago, I went to a Holy Spirit meeting in Seattle. 我在西雅图五年以前，我参加过一次被圣灵掌管充满的聚会。In that meeting, I was so hungry for God. 在那些聚会当中，我非常的渴慕神。I called to heaven, Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit upon me again. 我向天父呼求，主啊。求你将圣灵浇灌在我身上。Suddenly the Holy Spirit came upon me. 突然，圣灵就浇灌下来了。He filled my whole being. 他充满了我的整个全身。And I became like a drunk man. 我就像喝醉了一样。The Holy Spirit is all over me. 我整个的身体。都充满着圣灵。I could not walk. I was laughing and look like a drunk person. 那时我不能走路，我只能大笑，看起来就像喝醉了一样。When the power of God control you, your physical body could not resist Him. 当神掌管我们的时候，我们的肉体不能够拒绝他。I pray that you will have similar experience in your Christian walk. 我也为你们来祷告，求你们也有同样的经历。Today, I would like to show you the work of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' life. 今天我们来讲述圣灵在耶稣生活当中的工作。The Holy Spirit was involved in the birth of Jesus Christ. 圣灵参与了耶稣降生的工作。The Holy Spirit anointed Jesus with power to serve the Father. 圣灵高摩耶稣，可以让耶稣。有能力来服侍神。And the Holy Spirit gave Jesus a successful ministry. 圣灵的能力也带给主耶稣成功的服侍。In Luke chapter one verses thirty four to thirty five. 路加福音一章三十四节到三十五节。Then Mary said to the angel, "How can this be, since I do not know a man?" And the angel answered and said to her, "The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that." Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Maria 对天使说：“我没有出嫁，怎么能有这事呢？”天使回答说：“圣灵要临到你身上，至高者的能力要荫庇你，因为所要生的圣者必称为神的儿子。” You can see here that the Lord Jesus Christ was born from a virgin named Mary. 在这里，你可以看到主耶稣是从一个处女玛利亚所生。How did Mary become pregnant? 一个处女玛利亚怎么能够怀孕呢 ？She never had any relationship with any man. 她和任何男人都没有过关系。But she became pregnant. 但是她怀孕了。The Holy Spirit was the one who caused the Lord Jesus Christ to be in the womb of Mary. 是圣灵临到了玛利亚身上，使她怀了主耶稣基督。So you can see that the birth of Jesus Christ was supernaturally happened. By the power of the Holy Spirit. So, Jesus' ascension is a supernatural ability. In the same way, you and I were born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. 同样，你和我都是因着圣灵的能力而重生得救。Jesus called Christians as a born again person. 主耶稣叫我们基督徒是重生得救者。Our physical birth was natural. 我们天然人是自然出生的。But When we accept the Jesus Christ and repent of our sin, we become a child of God, and that is called born again. 但是，当我们接受主耶稣基督成为我们的救主，并认罪悔改的时候，我们就成为重生得救者。And this new birth is supernatural and spiritual. 这次的重生是超自然的、属灵的。The Holy Spirit. Was the one who caused us to be born again. 是圣灵带来我们在灵里头的重生。The Holy Spirit was the one who revealed to us. 
the truth of the gospel. 圣灵向我们显明福音的真理。He help us to understand that we need salvation and we need to surrender to the lordship of Jesus Christ. 是圣灵显明我们神的救赎和我们要降服在神的面前。And after we were born again, the Holy Spirit lived inside our spirit. 当我们重生得救以后，圣灵住在我们里面。After Jesus was born from Mary's womb, the Holy Spirit lived inside him. 当玛利亚生了耶稣以后，圣灵就内住在耶稣里面。But at that time, in the first thirty years of his life, he did not perform any miracle and he did not preach the gospel. 但是在主耶稣生命的前三十年里头，他没有做任何的神迹奇事，也没有来讲道。In conclusion, the Holy Spirit was involved in the birth of Jesus, and He was also involved in our rebirth or being a born again Christian. 所以说，圣灵参与了主耶稣的降生，也参与了我们在灵里的成生得救。Let's look at Luke chapter three, twenty one and twenty two. 让我们看看《路加福音》三章二十一节到二十二节。The Bible says, "When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended in bodily form like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, 'You are my beloved Son; in you I am well pleased.'" 这里说，众百姓都受了洗，耶稣也受了洗。正祷告的时候，天就开了，圣灵降临在他身上，形状仿佛鸽子，又有声音从天上来说：“你是我的爱子，我喜悦你。” In this scripture, the Lord Jesus Christ was filled with the Holy Spirit. 在这段经节里面，描述的是耶稣被圣灵充满。The Bible said that the Holy Spirit came in a form like a dove. 圣经上说，圣灵降在他身上，仿佛鸽子。It means that the Holy Spirit is very gentle, and He will never forces His way into anybody. 这就说明圣灵是非常的和蔼，他不会做任何强迫你的事情。The dove is a gentle animal. 鸽子是一个温顺良善的动物。The Holy Spirit will never force. Himself into you, you need to surrender to Him voluntarily. 圣灵从来都不会强迫你来接受他，只有当你完全顺服、降服他的时候。I want you to notice verse twenty-two: a dove upon Him. 所以你要注意在二十二节的是说，圣灵降临他身上，形状仿佛鸽子。If you listen to the first message, you will remember that I mentioned about the Holy Spirit. Came upon people in Acts chapter one verse eight. 如果你听到我们前面第一章的讲义，你就会注意到，在《使徒行传》一章八节那里说的，圣灵降临在你的身上。And in Luke chapter twenty four forty nine, the Holy Spirit clothed upon you. 在路加福音二十四章四十九节那里说，你们要领受上面来的能力，领受。在英文原意说，穿上。And in Matthew chapter three verse eleven, the Bible talk about being immersed or surrounded by water of the Holy Spirit. 在马太福音三章十一节这里说，你们要被他施洗。Therefore, in Luke chapter three twenty one to twenty two, the Scripture talk about Jesus was anointed or filled or baptized with the Holy Spirit. 所以在路加福音三章二十一节二十二节这里说，主耶稣被The Holy Spirit came upon Jesus. 圣灵临到耶稣身上 This is the example to all of us that even though we were born again and have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, we need to have the experience of the Holy Spirit coming upon us. 这同样的对我们也是一样。虽然我们重生得救，我们里面也有圣灵的内住，但是我们需要圣灵降临在我们身上。And this first experience is called baptism with the Holy Spirit. 当圣灵降临浇灌在你身上的第一次经历叫做圣灵的洗。If Jesus need the coming upon of the Holy Spirit in his life, we need. The baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. 如果主耶稣都需要圣灵浇灌降临在他身上，我们更需要。So, in conclusion, 
the Holy Spirit was involved in the birth of Jesus Christ. So, as a result, we know. 圣灵参与了耶稣基督的降生 ，and the Holy Spirit is involved in our being born again. 圣灵也参与了每个人的重生。The Holy Spirit came upon Jesus to anoint him for the work of ministry. 圣灵浇灌降临在耶稣身上，来为耶稣的事工来高摩耶稣。We also need the baptism of the Holy Spirit to have power to serve the Lord. 我们也需要圣灵。来高摩我们，让我们有神的能力来服侍神。Let us look at how the Holy Spirit works with the Lord Jesus Christ. 让我们来看看圣灵是怎么样在耶稣基督身上做的工作。Luke chapter four verse fourteen to fifteen. 路加福音四章十四节到十五节。Then Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went out through all the surrounding region. And he taught in that synagogues, being glorified by all. Jesus, 满了圣灵的能力，回到加利利，他的名声就传遍了四方。他在各会堂里教训人，众人都称赞他。Before Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit at the river of Jordan, he never performed any miracles, or he did not preach the gospel. 在主耶稣基督被圣灵充满之前，他没有做过任何的神迹奇事，也没有在任何地方教训过人。He was serving his father and mother in the carpentry business. 他只是作为一个木匠的儿子来帮助他们家和他的母亲。But after the experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit at the Jordan River in Luke chapter three twenty one to twenty two, he began. To serve the Father with power. In Luke Chapter Three, Verse Twenty-One, there, when Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, he began to teach the people. The Bible says that he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee. In Luke Chapter Three, Verse Twenty-One, the Bible says that he returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee. In Luke Chapter Three, Verse Twenty-One, the Bible says that he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee. In Luke Chapter Three, Verse Twenty-One, the Bible says that he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit to Galilee. In Luke Chapter Three, Verse Twenty-One, the Bible says that he returned in the power of The word he healed the sick, cast out demons. From that day, he began to teach people, preach the gospel, heal the sick, and cast out demons. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded the storm, and the storm calmed down. He commanded The Holy Spirit gave him a successful work of ministry. 圣灵赐给了耶稣成功的服侍。God the Father wants us to have the same experience. 我们的天父也希望我们有同样的经历。You and I need to serve the Father with the power of the Holy Spirit. 你和我都需要拥有圣灵的能力来服侍我们的天父。That's why we need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is why we need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is a command of Jesus Christ. This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why we need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." This is why the Apostle Paul said, "Don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit." We can read that in Isaiah chapter sixty-one, verse one. We can come to Isaiah chapter sixty-one, verse one. The Bible says, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound." 主耶华的灵在我身上，因为耶和华用高高我。叫我传好消息给谦卑的人，或做传福音给贫穷的人，差遣我医好伤心的人，报告被掳的得释放，被囚的出监牢。After Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to serve with power from on high, he quoted this scripture. 当主耶稣被圣灵充满以后，他开始用神的大能来服侍神，正好验证了符合。在以赛亚书六十一章所做的预言。He said in Luke chapter four verses eighteen to nineteen. 在路加福音四章十八节到十九节。
The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. 主耶稣在这里说：“主的灵在我身上，因为他应高高我，叫我传福音给贫穷的人，差遣我报告被掳的得释放，瞎眼的得看见，叫那受压制的得自由，报告神悦纳人的喜年。” And in verse twenty one, he say, he began to say to them, "Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing." 在路加福音四章二十一节，耶稣对他们说：“今天这经应验在你们耳中了。” In fact. In Luke chapter four, verses eighteen to nineteen, Jesus opened the scroll of the book of Isaiah and read from Isaiah chapter sixty-one, verse one. 实际上，当时主耶稣打开经书，读了以赛亚六十一章一节，在那里。And he concluded that this scripture in Isaiah sixty-one was fulfilled in his life. 读完之后，耶稣就对众人说。今天这经应验在你们耳中了。I would like to ask you to notice what he said in verse e i 我希望你们注意到主耶稣在十八节这里所说的。He said, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me." 主耶稣说，主的灵在我身上。The Spirit of God is not only in him, but he is also upon him. 所以主耶稣的灵不止在主的里面。也在他的身上。When we were born again, the Spirit of God is in us. 当我们重生的时候，主的灵在我们里面。But after we are baptized with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is upon us. 但是当我们被圣灵洗过之后，主的灵就在我们身上。Let's read Acts chapter one verse eight one more time. 让我们再读一遍《使徒行传》一章八节。But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. 但圣灵降临在你们身上，你们就必得着能力。I pray that you will have this experience of baptism with the Holy Spirit. 我为你们来祷告，希望你们都拥有被圣灵洗的经历。Jesus has set a good example to us. 主耶稣为我们做了一个好榜样。He was born from Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was in him. 圣灵在主耶稣里面。At the Jordan River, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. 在约旦河，他受水洗起来以后，他被圣灵充满。And from that day on, he was serving the Father with the power of the Holy Spirit. 从那天开始，他靠着神的大能来服侍神。In fact, the Bible say in John chapter three verse thirty four that Jesus. Had the spirit without limit. 而实际上，在约翰福音三章三十四节说，因为神赐圣灵给他是没有限量的。So Jesus was so full of the Holy Spirit to the point that we cannot measure how much he had. 所以主耶稣被圣灵充满到一种程度，我们都不可能测度。I want to encourage all of you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. 我鼓励你们每一个人都被圣灵来浇灌。And you should serve the Father with the power of the Holy Spirit. You 可以靠着圣灵的大能来服侍神 You should be thirsty and hungry to have more and more of the anointing of the Holy Spirit throughout your life. 你需要在你一生的时间来渴慕对神的灵有饥渴 Let us follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. 让我们来跟随主耶稣的脚步 He is our best example. 他是我们最好的榜样 Next year. You will have more anointing of the Holy Spirit than this year. 明年你会比今年有更多的圣灵的高摩。And I pray that five years from now, you and I will have more of the Holy Spirit than this year. 我们为这个来祷告，希望我们每一个人，你和我，五年之后，我们身上圣灵的高摩要远远大过我们现在。What you need to do is to receive this message by faith. 你需要做的就是靠着你的信心领受这篇信息。And you should have a desire to become like Jesus Christ. 你需要有一个渴慕的心来像耶稣一样。You should be hungry and thirsty for the Spirit of God. 你需要对圣灵有一个渴慕的心。You should desire to serve the Father. 你需要渴望来服侍神。And you should make a decision to be a clean vessel for the Holy Spirit to work through your life. 
你需要做出一个决定，让自己成为一个洁净的器皿来服侍神。Live a holy life， 过一个圣洁的生活。Repent of your sin， 向神悔改。Don't yield to temptations， 不要顺从那些试探。Make a decision to be a blessing to other people， 做一个抉择。让自己成为别人的祝福。I pray that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. 我求神让圣灵临到你 ，baptize you and fill you with His power. 圣灵洗你，使你充满圣灵的能力。May the Holy Spirit come upon those who are hungry right now. 愿圣灵充满浇灌在那些现在饥渴的那些人身上。And all the days of your life, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. 愿你的生命的每一天都被圣灵来充满。I believe that your life will never be the same. 我相信你的生命不再一样。The Lord loves you. 神爱你。He wants to use you. 他要使用你。He wants to reward you. 他要奖赏你。Thank you again for listening to this message. 再次谢谢你来收听这些讲道。Please listen to the third, the fourth, and the fifth part of this sermon. 希望你继续收听下面的第三部分、第四部分和第五部分。In the next message, I will share about how the Holy Spirit works with the early church disciples. 在下一次讲章里头，我要来分享圣灵是如何在初代信徒身上的工作。And I will teach you the benefits of baptism of the Holy Spirit. 我也会讲到圣灵的洗带来的益处。And we will learn how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. 最后，我们还会讲到如何来领受圣灵的喜。May the Lord bless you abundantly. 愿神丰丰满满的祝福你。Thank you so much. 谢谢你。Jesus loves you. 神爱你。Amen. Amen.